time for the investigation. You know, I always thought about going and, like, not... When I first played this trial, when I was going through the game, uh, normally... I actually went through this one really fast, and I didn't do any of the investigations, and I flew through the trials, and didn't read anything they were saying. Uh... And I always wanted to go back and see what I missed. I'm happy I didn't. <laughs> um, Nick? What? I've got a confession to make. I'm terrible at figuring out magic tricks. Magic tricks. Yep, magic tricks are by their very definition tricks, right? But I can never figure out the tricks when I see them. I'm just not good at it. That's because the tricks are performed by pros and they may not guess so that they never will. But, but, the trick Pearly showed me was incredible. Pearl does magic. Let's see. It looked like she pulled the end of her own thumb off. Hey. First, she put her right thumb next to her left hand, and then it just separated. She could move it up and down and everything. I was, it was so incredible. Really? Was it kind of like this? Wait, what? How did you do that, Nick? You're like a real magician! See, this is why I just can't figure out magic. I'm no good at it. Especially hard tricks like flying away from the scene of the murder and taking your thumb off. <laughs> You'll take all the fun out of magic if you keep trying to figure it out. I'm just going to... See, already, already, we're having more fun with this than we were during the trial. I already feel, like, awake. Yes. See, Maya makes the entire game. Maya was not speaking enough during the trial. No, Maya! <laughs> Maya needs Maya. to speak more. <laughs> Maya! No, Maya. What? Hi. You need to speak more during the trial, please. Why? Uh, because? Because why? Uh, to make it easier to get through. <laughs> Are you saying that I'm good at helping you? Yes, you are. Otherwise, the, the trial seemed to last forever. So I help speed them up then. Yes. Why do I get the feeling you meant something else? I didn't. Nick has very strong opinions. <laughs> Looking at this really makes you think about things, doesn't it? Like what? We're broke. I'm just saying that tomorrow's going to be incredibly boring. Yes, yes it will, Maya. Can I call in sick? You want to know something, Nick? No. Maybe if I... Maybe if I keep this pepper around and, like, I'll... I... Make myself sick with it and not go into court tomorrow. That's my plan. I don't like your plan. I love to put pepper on my hamburgers. But I also like to put pepper on peanut of uh, butter. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, wait, I wanna see what she said. It seemed interesting. You wanna know something, Nick? I love to put pepper on my hamburgers. 
But I also like to put pepper on peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Do you think I'm weird? Hi, uh, this is Raymer. I am doing something weird. Um, I was watching this and I, while well, thinking that I wanted an after school snack. And that this part came on. So now I have a peanut butter and jelly sandwich with half of it and half of it has pepper and I'm going to see how it tastes. So wait first the regular half. It tastes like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Now the half with pepper. Mm, I don't really taste the pepper. Uh, kind of just tastes like peanut butter and jelly with a spicy kind of aftertaste. This was kind of anticlimactic. Anyways, back to the video. You don't seem to be in a very good mood today. Person, I. Uh... Now it's a funny a criminal who has discovered the ability to fly. Yeah, I guess that would put you in a bad mood. Oh. I was just interested in the pepper on peanut butter and jelly thing. I used to put butter on my pizza, and it was school pizza, so... I mean, I, I put all kinds of weird stuff on everything, so like... I know, and everyone thought it was weird, but it's school pizza. One, it's just basically bread with cheese and sauce on it, and two, it's school pizza. It's disgusting. Yeah. But okay. it was food, and I was hungry, and everyone's just like, it tastes fine. It's hu we're hungry. Wait. Oh, my sweeties. You mind hurrying up and getting me out of this place? Trust me. We're doing our best. Trust me. We're hurrying as fast as we can. A little while ago, some people from a local TV station came by. They said that, since I'm a famed magician, let's make your very own TV special. Really? What kind of TV special? Maximilian Galactica. The Great Prison Escape. It will be aired live. Hey, that sounds like it would be an awesome special. But if I do the special before I'm acquitted, they'll never let me out of here for real. <laughs> well, it certainly be an unnecessary addition to your troubles. That's what I was thinking. But the production staff is already working on the show. If you don't get me out quick, I'll have no choice but to do but to stage a real prison break. You seem awfully calm about that possibility. I have no choice. It would be a contractual obligation to show business. I j it just occurred to me that I have more stuff to show Maya. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> what do you have to say about yourself? Once you start channeling spirits, it's a sight of who you actually are. Do you believe that? Not I'm really, just... but just in case, I plan to write my autobiography. Your we autobiography. already read that. But... What would it be called? Burger? Karma. You know, if she wasn't so mean, I think she and I would get along. <clears throat> yeah, but that's the problem. She is so mean. Yes, it does. It's kind of cool, though. I wouldn't mind having a whip myself. I bet the crackling whip on you just once or twice will just be just what the doctor ordered. Why me? What did I do? You never got me burgers and you're constantly just trying to bribe me with burgers for everything. And... Regina is so cute. <laughs> sure, we've done this already. Yes. Okay. We've done this conversation already. Every 
Zumba yeah, Spring Master. Whatever, hopefully we did this too. Yeah, we we already did this one too. Ah, yeah. What? Well, is a really nice guy, don't you think, Nick? Tell us all about the inner workings of the circus. We did this too. Okay. Let's go back to that place now. The detention center. That's what it's called. Hiya. What? No. <laughs> I'm still here. Not my, uh... What? What? Hello? 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 Hi. Hi. Um, the night of the crime, you didn't fly off, did you? Into the sky? Here's how everything went down, sweetie. At the time of the murder, I was sitting in the ringmaster's room. Not to mention, flying off into the sky is just something. I cannot do it, Will. I don't care what the Stoogie clan says, it wasn't me. Max, Max, do you mind teaching me the trick behind flying again? Hmm, you'll have to forgive me, sweetie. The difference between me and cheap imitation magicians is that I keep my mouth shut. I don't teach people tricks, but I will say this much. It's much harder than you think. But he already told uh, her. Yeah. <laughs> You know, I was thinking about... We, that yeah. was like in the court when we left. I... Maybe... Uh, maybe Maya means, like, teach her, like, in real life how to do it, but... The thing he said just doesn't make sense. Like maybe he told Maya. I don't know. I mean, I think... Maya might be saying, like, in person... Like, show her how to do the trick. I don't know what he's... I don't know. I was thinking about this in court today. I've got a favor to ask of you. Anything for you, sweetie. Be friends with the other performers in the circus. Fabulous. A great joke. Why would I be friends with a bunch of hacks like that? B but... I've won the world stage. I won the International Grand Prix. International Grand Prix? Performers should always look to perform on the world stage. But performers at this circus are completely and utterly devoid of ambition. That is something I simply cannot tolerate. Ambition? Something about what Max just said rings true to my ears. Oh my, my sweetie want to hear all about, Ugh. sweeties want to hear all about the Grand Prix, don't they? Not really. I just want to, I just want this to be over so we can just get away from this. To be honest though, I've told this story like 100 times already, so it's a bit boring. We're sorry to make you tell it again. <laughs> just... You think that's boring? We made it through the entire court case this morning, for, or yesterday, or whenever, and we're we still haven't died of boredom. Boredom, so I think we'll be all right. You must not have heard me. I am really sick of telling this story. But what can you do? I'm Maximilian Galactica. I suppose I can tell it again. Blah! Took a- take a look at this! I just happened to have a picture from the Grand Prix with me. Just look at that fabulous stage. That is the first stage that I ever flew on. I flew right over the audience. The crowd erupted into applause. At that time, I thought to myself that I could die happy right then and die a happy man. I'll never forget how I felt that night. The emotions, the acclaim. Wow. Ahem. By the way, 
I think everyone who's a performer should get to experience that feeling. I just wish I could explain that to the other people in the circus. That's incredible, Max. I want a trophy, too. Hey, Nick, how about you buy me a trophy? That's not how you earn a trophy, Maya. Oh. But no one gives me trophies for anything else. Mm. My sweeties, you, like burgers, you can have right? this picture Eat of burgers. my trunk. Trophy-eating burgers. Trophy-eating burger? <laughs> what? <laughs> Just make sure you show it to all the other members of the circus. Watch and learn. That's what you should tell them. Learn how to get thrown in jail? <laughs> yes. Maya! What? Yes, I do know how to do that. No, I was going to huh? ask. Do you want to go get burgers? Like, actually get burgers this time. Wait, really? I brought money. Okay. Let's go. Get burgers. Uh, Nick, this... This isn't the place to get burgers. Oh. And the stand is I'm actually closed. hungry. One time I actually want burgers. We can't get burgers. When you are actually going to get them this time? Uh, yeah. Why? <laughs> see, I say I brought money. Wait, you yeah. hear that? It sounds like two people arguing. All right, let's let's do it. Are you ready? Yes. Uh, uh, w wait. Quit your whining. Let's just give this a shot already. All right, let's go. Row, row, row your boat. Row, row, row your boat. What are you doing? Gently down the stream. Come on, you know that. I'm trying my best, but Trilo, this just isn't going to work. Do you enjoy saying dumb things? You're going to have to be on your own someday. If you can't handle something as simple as this, what are you supposed to do then? Hello, Ben. Hello to you, too, Trilo. What are you doing here? Can't you see we're on a secret craft training course? Uh, I'm sorry? Secret craft training? Wow. Excuse me. That might be the beginning of the video. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, Trilo wouldn't give up until I said we'd try out his idea for a new routine. So we're trying to s sing in a round for our new ventriloquism act. In a round? Y you can really do that? That's incredible! See, see. Even they are surprised by the idea I told you. They're not the only ones. You even surprised me with your idea. Once we've got a grip on the basics, then it's just a matter of practice. Y you think so? Oh, I almost forgot. I wanted to give this back to you. Ah, there it is. Now that I've got this ring back, it's time to take one more shot at Regina. I don't remember what voice I did for Trina. Um, I know that you already testified in court today, but I wasn't paying attention, so... You want to talk about what we saw, right? Yes. Well, first we thought it was the old man. Just looking at his walk and how he acted. Right, Ben? Huh? Uh oh, yeah, that's right. But then we said hello, and he didn't even reply. Not to mention, he was draped in those gaudy symbols. Oh, uh, what would you have thought if he wasn't wearing those symbols? Hmm. What do you think, Ben? What? Oh, um, uh, I would have thought it was the ringmaster. Something is hanging up in here. I'm wondering what... what? 
Uh, I was hoping I could ask you about Regina. I'm completely serious about her. That's why I'm waiting for her even now. Really? That's so sweet. But if you really wanted to see Regina, shouldn't you check out the tent? Ha, huh, you haven't got a clue about things, do you, sweetheart? Eh. Waiting like this is part of being in love. How so? If you had a clue, you would know waiting is such is such sweet, wonderful torture. When your body aches for your partner's love, that's one of the best parts. Um, yeah, I knew that. Or Maya say so bad like a vine. Vine is bad. <laughs> 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 what? I don't know. I was just remembering. Vine is dead story. because Maya is red. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm tired, okay. So, how is this new routine working out? Will you two just take a chill pill already? Your routines are secret. We're going to take the ventriloquism world by storm. It'll be a real revolution. That sounds incredible. But let me make one thing clear. We're not going to take on the world just because that jerk said we should. Max Galactica. Performer should aim for the world. Who does he think he is? Trilo, you seem to really be fired up about all this. He needs to why, realize why that he isn't like the only one who can conquer the world it. stage. What? Why did it, like, that sentence almost seem like it was almost leading towards that Amy person? <laughs> <laughs> you're right, you're right. Mark my words. I, Trilo, quits, will win the Grand Prix. Pre. <laughs> <laughs> you're the man now, dog. Row, row, row your boat will be the key to a glorious victory. Um, not to rain on your parade, but wouldn't a more mature song be best? But that wouldn't be as funny. Hey, you've got to start somewhere, huh? Right? Huh? Don't screw this up. You've got to be part of this, too. I like talking to them individually more. Like, just with Phoenix, Maya, and, like, and another person, or in this case, two other people. It's a lot yeah. more entertaining. Anyways. <sighs> huh? Uh, where's Regina? Tiger, I don't want to find out. Hurry up and get out! <laughs> Nick, you're kind of chicken, aren't you? No. I'm allergic to tigers. Are you? <laughs> uh. Look, it's a burger! Burgers in the cafeteria! Those burgers. There are no burgers here. And they still haven't cleaned this place up, so I'm pretty sure that any burgers that are in the kitchen are probably old. Yes, they're probably spinach burgers. If Pearly got one look at the state of this place, she'd slap whoever was in charge across the face. I mean to never invite her to my office. I thought she's been to the office before, right? Maybe not. I don't know. Maybe not at this point. I don't think so, no. Yeah, I don't remember anymore. I don't remember the beginning of this case, but the trial was just... I can't... No, she wasn't at the office. They, she, her and Maya went back home, and then Maya went to bring her back home, and then Phoenix went back to the office and then waited for Maya. No, I mean, I, I remember Pearl was in the beginning. I just don't remember what happened. She didn't go back to the office now. Max and the ringmaster had their talk in this room. Uh -huh. 
that could have been where the ringmaster put Max's costume on and went outside. Why'd he do that? Maybe it was gold or something? This is, was the table he used when the visitors came to see him. Ew, there's mud caked on the table. Ew, mug, mud. Mug. <laughs> Nick, don't even think about providing a reenactment for me. Alright, Watson, how on coolest do you think I am anyway? <laughs> what? Okay, I don't know um... why he has to use such weird words. Oh wait, we read this already. Look at all the cute trophies! Nope. Wait, we saw them already, actually. I know. Mm, I uh, you, this is the third time you brought them up. <laughs> I'm just seeing if you have anything different to say about them. No. Oh. You look like you just got hit by a truck. It was just a you car, pal. Don't worry about me. Wait, why? Alright, uh, you should get rest. No, I'm taking a rest right now, pal. I've been listening to some crazy clown's life story. Miss Von Karma told me to come down here and do this for her. Maya bossing Phoenix around too much of all. Unless he's referring to Mia. That's the only other person. But Mia was his him. boss! Dead. <laughs> of course Mia was bossing him around. Mia was his boss. <laughs> yes. Or maybe he means Von Karma too. Ugh. Right now that makes the most sense, I guess. I don't know. Sure. Every time he's done talking. He looks at you like you should be doing something. Um... Like I'm doing right now! I think he's waiting for you to laugh. <laughs> I know that, pal. Do you have any idea how much your face hurts if you fake laughing that much? Francisca really set you up bad this time, didn't she? If you ask me, she should be listening to Mo herself. No way, pal. You're not gonna get me to backbite a woman with a whip. No way. Why are you defending her? Prosecutor Von Karma's always got her eyes on us. And every time you definitely don't want her to show up, poof. There she is. Don't show up, don't show up, don't show up, don't show up, don't show up. Looks like she's wound up pretty tight, huh? She's directly above us as we speak. Huh? How's that possible? Uh, creating with the clown, the criminal jumped from here and disappeared in the sky. If that's what happened, it means the killer passed right by this window, pal. Oh, I see. 
Who lives in that room behind the window up there? The acrobat's got his room on the third floor, it seems. Pretty soon, Miss Von Karma's gonna start her investigation up there. So don't go getting any ideas going up to the acrobat's room. Got it? We're going to pick this up next time. Thanks for watching, Pharaoh! Pharaoh!